here's a little bit more review on some of the vocabulary for writing um, word problems or writing inequalities from word problems. I just want to quickly go through and hit these with you and make sure you are um, kind of clear on this vocabulary and what we're doing to write these word problems or write these inequalities from these word problems. I'm trying to find, there it is, my little bag of color pens. Here we go. Y'all see what time it is? And I done made one video. So, y'all know I'm here. You know, I tell y'all I get here early in the mornings, but sometimes I think y'all think I'm telling a story. So y'all can, there's your proof. All right. Writing graph, the following. So let's look at these. If Y stands for the yards of fabric, there are at least 10 yards of fabric. We're just writing a quick little inequality with these. This is not really a word problem, but at least 10 yards of fabric. So I've got... So, Y, our yards of fabric, has to be at least 10 yards. So, we want 10 yards, we want 11 yards, we want 12 yards. So, we want this amount to be greater than or equal to 10. Okay. So, if we wanted to put that on a number line, I'm just going to put my 10 right here. And then my greater than or equal to is going to be a closed dot shaded this way. And there's 10. You can do your number lines. It can be kind of chunked. All right, look at this one. I, I didn't do this one. I'm just going to worry about that one. Um, if P stands for people, the tram attendant will allow no more than 60. So P is the people. 60 is the total. No more than 60. I can have 60. I cannot have 61, which means this amount has to be less than or equal to 60. So I'll put my 60 right there. Close that dot because it's a less than. This right here makes it closed. This right here makes it closed. And it's going to be less than or equal to 60. So it can be any number less than or equal to 60. If E stands for eggs, there are at least a dozen. So E is eggs, a dozen is 12, at least a dozen. So I can have, I may have a dozen, I may have two dozen, but I have at least a dozen. So E is gonna have to be greater than or equal to 12. I'll put my 12 right there. It's going to be closed up. Okay. X is at most 30. At most means that X is going to have to be, here's my 30, greater than or equal to 30. Close that up and go that way with it. I'm doing these kind of fast. Ted needs no more than $50. He's got X and his $50. He wants no more than 50. So this is going to be less than or equal to 50. So here's my 50. Close it up that way. Sally needs to be at least four feet to ride the roller coaster. So here's Sally, she's gotta be four feet. She can be greater than or equal to four feet. Close it up. My car payment can be no more than $500. So here's my car payment, here's my $500. This amount has to be less than or equal to 500. That was just a quick little review of some of those, no more than, at least, and that kind of thing. So, we are getting closer and closer. The next thing we'll be looking at is the study guide, so get ready.